Yes, sir. I try to. So why does that not seem to be prevalent? And what do you see the issues are? What can we help you do So a couple things. One, I think the one part is that you have a lot of members that have been there too long. I'm just going to be blunt. They've been, they've been in Congress too long. They're accustomed. There's really only one way to do congressional term limits. I can't save because there's cameras in the room. So I'm gonna do that. I, I gotta save some stuff, you know, some stuff you gotta like spring on people. But anyway, um, the truth is you have a lot of members that have just been there too long. They were accustomed to the inertia. They're the, they're the frog that got boiled in the pot, essentially. And so they're accustomed to the inertia. This is just what it is. And as far as they're concerned, they're focused on the one thing that gets to accomplish that year, and that takes precedent over everything else. Um, the second part is, is that the staff largely runs the members. I mean, not my staff. My staff will tell me. Like, he kind of he does what he wants. And they give me recommendations. They're all nodding their head like, yeah, we do. They give me recommendations, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cool. No, I'm not doing that. Here's what we're doing. But for a lot of members, their staff literally tell them what to do. They read the scripts to a T of what their staff wrote. Um, this last bill that passed out of the Senate, I wasn't members of the Senate writing that stuff. The members of the Senate were not sitting there going over the finer points of tax policy and climate proposals. That stuff came from think tanks and congressional staffers. That's where that came from. And it all, it all got cobbled together. Here's the deal, sir. Okay, I can live with that, but can I get this one thing? Yeah, we can figure that out, sir. All right, cool, here's the deal. It's gonna be great for America. Wow. That's, those are the two problems we have right now in Washington. How that gets fixed is term limits. Uh, but actually, let me give you a green shoots. That's a great political word. I like that. There, on my side of the aisle, two thirds of the House has been elected since 2016. There's a lot more fresh blood on my side of the aisle. That's only going to continue with respect to uh, the Republican side. The Democrat side, they don't term limit their committee chairman, so they just stay. They stay a long time. And so what happens is they're caught up in the loop of, I've been waiting to be a chairman for 20 years and now it's my time and I'm doing what I want. And then the staff loves it because what the staff does is this prepares them to leave and go make money somewhere else. Because now they're the ones writing the bills. I'm gonna come